Lastly, let us consider example three. Say we are interested in determining the current measured by the ammeter. In our circuit below, we have a 12 volt source, which is applying a potential to the left hand side of our four ohm resistor. The right hand side of our four ohm resistor is connected to a two ohm resistor, as well as a current controlled current source. Our two ohm resistor is connected to an ammeter, where the right hand side is connected to a positive terminal, and the bottom of our ammeter is connected to the bottom node of our circuit network. We'll begin by recalling an ammeter can be represented as a short circuit. That is, our ammeter has zero resistance such that there is no voltage potential across the device. We will begin our analysis by labeling our nodes A in the top left, B in the top center, and C in the bottom center. Now we will also apply voltage potentials across our resistors consistent with our passive sign convention. We note that IM travels through our 2 ohm resistor down the short circuit and then to node C as follows, such that we can assign a positive and negative polarity across the resistor as follows. IA is assumed to travel through our four ohm resistor, our 12 volt source, and then to node C as follows, such that we can assign the following polarity. Now, since we have three currents entering node C, we can start by applying KCL at said node. At node C, we have IA plus three IA plus IM entering. That is, the sum of our currents N is 4IA plus IM, and this is equal to the sum of our currents out, zero. We shall call this equation one. Now to relate IA and IM, we will apply KVL along our outer loop. That is to say, we only have one equation, two unknowns, such that we have to construct another equation. Constructing a KCL equation at B would result in the same expression, which is not useful. By defining loop one as follows, we can apply KVL to said loop. Now we have to be consistent with our sign convention. Starting in the bottom left hand corner, we will move in a clockwise fashion such that we enter the negative terminal of our voltage source, minus 12 volts. Then we are entering the negative terminal of our resistor where the voltage drop across the resistor is IA times four ohms. Then as we progress towards our two ohm resistor, we're entering the positive terminal where our voltage drop is IM times two ohms. Such that we can express our KVL equation as minus 12 volts, minus four ohms times IA, plus two ohms times IM is equal to zero. If we re-express this in terms of IA, we can say IA is equal to IM per two minus three. Now we have two equations and two unknowns. If we substitute this expression for IA back into our first equation, we'd have four times IM per two minus three plus IM is equal to zero, or IM is equal to four amps, the current measured by our ammeter.